So this is uh, the current setup uh, to drive, ride, I should say, <laughs> ride Max bike out to the border. Um, got about 11 days to do it. Um, I'm leaving a bit late today, but let the adventure begin. Ready, needing to readjust. <laughs> Alright, that'll be fine. Okay, let's try that again. For those who don't know, I'm Meg and I usually travel full time in my school bus, Mo. But for the next 12 days, I'll be traveling with Mac on the back of his DR650 as we attempt to cross into the States and come back into Mexico with fresh six month tourist visas. Then make it back in time for Escobar Van Life Festival. And yes, I know I'm not dressed appropriately, but we are in Mexico. So as we were driving, riding, like just kind of stopped. So we're trying to figure out what the problemo is. You know what, I think I might know what it is. What? Maybe something because I'm covering the vent. I think I just need to let some air out. Oh, covering the vent with the yeah. bag? Yeah. Okay, back on the road. Or not. We just had the same issue. And it's like moving the car a little bit and sputtering on this stretch of road, so bit hungry so this food stall right across from the Pemex was perfect to adjust things. My butt is sore. Let me stretch that in the jacket. But nearly there. Okay, this time we really got in the flow and we're on the road for a good chunk without stopping and starting. But I won't lie, I was pretty relieved we had so many little stops to be able to jump off the bike and stretch my bum and legs a bit. Riding, Riding on the back, on the back of, of Max' bike for trips, trips into, into and around the cars is quite different from sitting, sitting on it for hours, hours on end, on end on the highway. highway. That being said, the sore legs and bum is certainly worth it to be able to experience these roads on the back of a motorbike. Especially in comparison to driving Mo on the way down. Important stop oh. for the vapors. Is that there? Yeah. Wrong turn number one. Yeah. 
By this point, we weren't entirely sure how to get to where we were going and we were hoping we'd make it in time to set up and find wood for a fire before it got dark. There's only those that are mine. So oh. <laughs> Chico is Maya. Marco, no, it's all good. You know if the Huncalito Beach is just down that way? This is Huncalito. Okay. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What'd you say? Just gonna give her a second to get this side. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Once we picked a spot, we set up camp and enjoyed the sunset. So this is the setup. Pretty sweet, brought the solar lights, found some firewood, a little mini table, and uh, <laughs> yeah, ocean is just there, sweet sunset. So, uh, yeah, this is where we are for the night. We made it before it got dark, so that was good. Mm. This is the plan, I guess. <laughs> of the what? Food. And oh, other yeah. people will understand us. God bless you. That's not the only <laughs> Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like and subscribe to see the next installment of our 12 day two up trip. And please comment and leave your thoughts of what you want to see more of.